Hi everybody, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles. And I am back with another video showing us um, junk journal page ideas. So I got a special request to do to show different strategies and ways to use up washi tape. And I don't know if you guys are like me and you have a washi tape stash, but but I do. <laughs> And um, I have several of these containers. They used to be organized better, um, but they're not right now. Um, not even like by color or size or anything. Um, but that's okay. I love looking at them. So that, that's a positive, right? Um, but I decided that this did fit in the Junk Journal Book Idea series because... We are going to um, generate some ideas and then you can just put them on a few of your pages to go back and then remind you. So I, I hope that makes sense. Some things might overlap a little bit because we are going to use some washi tape to make some hinges. So there'll be a little flap or a hidden journaling spot, that kind of thing. But um, anyway, and it may also help you figure out how to design some, some page layouts. I did not really prep this video. I've got some scraps out. I've got my watch tape out. I've got my journal. And I'm going to kind of wing it. I jotted down a couple of ideas. I wanted to make sure I didn't forget to share. And we'll, we'll see. We'll see how many we come up with just playing with our washi tape. So what was kind of funny is when I was prepping this old notebook of mine to be my junk journal idea book, I actually used quite a bit of washi tape to cover up some of the writing and to just give the pages, you know, some interest. So not every page has washi tape on it, but a lot of them do. So that was kind of funny, but that's okay. All right, so I guess the most obvious way that I use washi tape in my junk journals is when I want to cover up something that I don't want to have to look at, or maybe I make a mistake um, when I'm, I'm writing and I want to put something over it. So one thing that is great about washi tape is if you have a permanent marker, um, you can use a Sharpie or whatever you have, you really can write, write, right on top of the washi tape. So um, it's great for also like making labels. And I'm trying to find a piece that I put down that's a little more solid. We'll just even go to this one to say, um, you know, to make a to-do list or, um, put the date, right? Um, I think today is the eighth, right? So, um, kind of basic ideas, but then of course you can really go to town doodling, um, or making some toppers for your pages. So something that, um, Ooh, I know um, I like to do a lot is um, do clusters and things like that at the tops of my pages or like use um, strips of paper and make it look like there is, um, I don't know, a scrap of paper at the top and um, I'm going to have a, a, a hand tear. I kind of am going to cover up his face. Sorry, mister. Um, so again, I could ink around the edge here. I could do whatever. But then if I take out a piece of washi tape and it doesn't even have to coordinate, right? It could be um, something I probably, may, maybe I would or wouldn't normally put with that piece of paper. But let's just pick a piece at random. And, you know, washi tape comes in all different widths too. But we now have a little topper to the page. This could be glued down, more tape on top of it. Washi tape is removable. Um, if you really start burnishing or adding extra adhesive to it, it's not gonna be as removable without tearing your paper. Um, so, you know, just keep that in mind. Now, I know this is a super basic idea, but sometimes when you're trying to remember what you're doing, um, it's it, it's all it's sometimes hard to remember. So I'm gonna put um, washi tape ideas, and now I have a cute little label, 
And one thing that I like to do too, that could be fun, and this may not have been the best page to pick, but you can just randomly, um, again, or, or coordinate the ones you want, but we can make our list look interesting. And I'm gonna cut this one at an angle. And I do have lines on my paper, and this is actually a grid washi tape, so it made it a little bit easier. But if I pick several pieces, I must have gotten a set that was sort of nautical themed. And of course, I just picked up one that does not want me to find the end. So there we go. And guys, it is, um, I am back home. I'll tell you about my trip to move my daughter in um, to her new apartment. But um, hurricane is heading this way. It shouldn't be too bad here, but we're definitely overcast and going to have um, not the best weather. So it's a little dark. So I hope you guys can see okay. I tried to get the lighting the best I could for this video. I tend to, I try to not film or take pictures for my social media too much when it's so overcast out, but I have all these ideas and all these videos that I want to make. So I'm working a little bit in a little less light than I normally would, but I think I can manage. I think I can. So I'm just cutting strips of different washi tape and then beside them or on top of them you can write if you want to but we're going to put some different ideas so obviously um you can make page toppers labels you can i'm going to show you how to do um faux uh photo corners those are so cute um, we're going to look at how to make um, a embellished uh, paper clip. <laughs> so see what I'm saying? Like as we do one, we can add it to each list. Um, an embellished paper clip. We're going to um, do um, to reinforce page um, seams. Highlight edges. I'm making this kind of one, a multi edges and corners. So, this is a permanent marker. I didn't even look to see if it shows through on the other side of the page. Oh, well, if it does, I've got, I've already got that layered, but we'll see. So, we'll keep doing our ideas and then we'll have samples of them. One other thing before we, we do that, let me pick another piece is um, somebody had made a little bit of a request. And for me, for this video series, it's not going to work, but they said, you know, could I do all of the easy ideas and then work up like through medium and then hard so that y'all's idea books are in order it's from like easy to medium to hard. And I just don't have all of the videos. Um, planned out and coordinated out to do that but what what you, but what I suggested and I don't know if the viewer liked this suggestion or not if you're watching and you think about it leave me a comment and let me know but I said you know what you could do is um um add tabs to pages right that are color coded so you could say easy is green um, kind of medium is yellow and hard is purple or red or whatever you want to do, right? I don't want to really say stop, but don't do it because it's hard. But so red sometimes connotates stop. But if, you know, if you do an idea and for you, you think, oh, this one's really easy and you want to put whether it's like a tab like this just on the page and have them all, you know, color coordinated um, or a certain kind of washi tape, right? So you could then and you could remind yourself that this washi tape means easy, this one's medium, and this one is difficult, right? And you could then tab your pages doing something like this or just a, a simple little take a piece of tape. Let me get a piece. And I've done this on journals and it's really cute where, um, is this that one's opening? I'm just not putting it on this page. We'll do it here. And 
literally just leave a little bit hanging out and it makes it a little tab right there. See how easy that is? And so now if you wanted any easy ideas or hard ideas, whatever, to be a certain kind of washi. So that's another idea. So add little tabs to pages. We just did that one. So, um, and I'm gonna show you on another journal of mine. This journal is really old and the pages are somewhat fragile. Um, and I've been doubling them up, kind of like gluing two or three together to make the pages a little bit thicker. And so almost every one though, you see right down um, here to try to help them <laughs> from coming apart, I've added washi tape and it's so flexible. And yet again, especially if you add some extra adhesive, it's really gonna help reinforce this for me and it's not gonna go anywhere, hopefully. So I'd kind of gone crooked, so that's why that wasn't holding. But then it still folds up and it doesn't add that bulk. So that's just another idea too, to reinforce and to make sure, um, if you're, especially if you're working in a vintage or older book. Um, and you can see I'm using washi tape a lot in this one, this is a personal journal of mine. So, um, so to remember that idea in your book, and you may want to pick a washi tape, you know, that's a little bit wider than the standard. You could go even wider than this, but I'm going to just run a piece right down here. Plus, I like the way it looks. And, you know, and I have some washi tape that's a little more like what you might think is my, you know, junk journal-y vintage aesthetic. Like this one here is so pretty. It looks like a vintage wallpaper. And then I have others, you know, that have like this nautical theme or here. This is like from a old scrapbook paper set I had, you know, mushrooms. But depending on what you're using it for, you know, you can really coordinate and go pretty or you can kind of just highlight or use it functionally. All right, let's do a photo corner idea. So I did grab um, some scraps and just some scrap cardstock. I was gonna do it with, with this and make this into a photo photo corners. So let's just assume this is going to be the mat. And here's here's my picture. I'm just using a little bit of a journaling card. I'm going to go ahead and glue it down because I, I really just want it matted on here with the fo photo corners. So add your journaling card, your picture, your photo, whatever you want to do onto a, whatever kind of card stock that you would like. And then you can pick any washi tape that you're in the mood to use. I'm gonna pick something. I don't really like that contrast. Let me see, maybe this brown stripe. Okay, and again, you could really, this will work with any width and just tear off a piece. You want it big enough that you can work with, but you don't need a lot. And I hope y'all can see this, but I find it's easy to just bring it right as close to the corner as you can of the mat and then wrap it around. And I do need a wider washi tape than this one because of how wide I made the margin. So let me pick a different one. Um, luckily, I'm not at a loss for washi tape to choose from. Let's pick one out of here. How about this green? Hopefully this one isn't too old. Sometimes when they get really old, it starts to get extra, either not gummy at all or too gummy. I think this one's gonna be okay. And um, it gets a little challenging to work with. I may have made my mat too big. I like to have my corners lap over even more, so here I am. This is what happens when you don't do a lot of prep for a video ahead of time and you jump right in. You end up with a problem. We're gonna go to this one. Is this one wider? Give me one second, friends. Again, I'm saying you've got all kinds of 
widths to choose from, and then here I am. Okay, this one is a little bit wider, and I think it's gonna work. So, tear off a piece. And again, if you want it to look like the, like the black photo corners we used to have, like back in the 60s and 70s, you know, use a dark washi tape, that would be cool. But I like that, that's gonna look neat. Okay, so just, you could use the same washi tape, you can change it up, up to you, and go. And I will tell you, if you're not someone like me that has a big stash of washi tape, but you like the idea of maybe trying it in some of your projects, you know, go to, um, sometimes the craft stores even will have it like in the clearance section and bins, especially the ones that coordinate after holidays. I've also found it just at thrift stores and craft reuse stores. You can usually find like a lot of it, even like on eBay, something like that. So those are faux photo corners. And I'm even just gonna write that down on here. Faux photo corners. And because I didn't glue this down perfectly it, it looks it almost looks like it's floating in there in the corners so I kind of like that layered look right and then to help me remember I'm just going to stick this into my journal now again I could turn this into a pocket I could turn this into a flip and maybe to show another idea let's make it into a flip so I'm gonna select um I'm gonna pick a piece that's a little bit wider. And guys, this is like, y'all are gonna go, Pam, this is too basic. But use your washi tape as your flip, or your hinge for your flip. So I don't want this one to go anywhere, so I'm gonna kind of burnish it down, but look at that. So now I have hidden journaling space here, and it's a flip right? So I don't even, I think I had that on my list yet. So flip. Yay. And then we'll add a piece just to make our page. And, and the reason I'm using these strips like this to make my list is this is a, a page layout idea. You know, you can, if you know you want to put some encouraging words or you want to write a poem or you want to just have journaling spaces, you know, make a little border of washi tape that comes down the edge of a page and leave it to then journal on. Um, so this is going to be make hinges for flips. There we go. All right. Um, now, sometimes you want coordinating ephemera for the theme of your journal or for something you're working on and you don't really have paper that um, matches that theme, right? This is just some extra cardstock I have. So that's when you can pull out your washi tape and make yourself um, some patterned paper that coordinates um, with your theme. So I'm gonna use some that's a little bit wider, but you can use skinnier um, washi tape and just add extra strips, but I'm gonna use this one. I don't even know if I've ever used this one. Um, so there's a little piece that got torn, but we're gonna stick her down. I'll use that for something at some point. And this is the kind of washi tape that has that backing. And this was literally just to hold the roll together, but it is not wanting to come off. There we go. All right, so Let's put a few strips down. Put my scissors. Y'all are probably looking at them right now or even going, Pam, they're right in front of your face. Let's cut another strip. So again, this will work with, this is the part that tore. Um, skinny, and you just, you know, layer your washi tape on a piece of paper, um, or you can use this wider tape. 
All right, and again, this is where it tore. Okay, I made myself some paper. <laughs> and then you can use your punches. So if you wanna make a little label, any, any shape punch, you wanna make a little label. If you want, I've got my heart punch out. We'll do a whale tab. And now suddenly with your punches and doing your washi tape like this, you can have little pieces of ephemera that coordinate with your project. I'm just gonna do one heart by angling it. And this one, the washi tape wasn't even all the way over the heart, but it still looks cute. So you can make yourself some little embellishments. And I didn't even put that one down either, but this was just an idea I liked. And I'm gonna make using um, just a piece of paper that I have. Um, that one's a little bit big. Let's just make a little pocket to stick those in our idea journal. So find a strip of paper that you wanna use. You can tear, you can cut. I'm just gonna make a shallow pocket for mine. So just a piece of rectangle paper. And you can even use the washi tape to adhere your pocket. So this might be something for a little bit thinner piece of washi tape. Might work well, huh? Let's try it. If I can get it to undo. Um, so instead of using glue, I'm just gonna use the washi tape to stick my little pocket down. And I love how easy washi tape is to tear. So like if, if I don't want it that long, I can just tear it off. It would be nice if I would lay it down straight. It would look neater. Okay. And if you're really embracing, you know, the idea that everything doesn't have to be perfect and match, I think this is a good project because you can. I'm going to glue the heart down. Um, you know, you can be really fun and eclectic with your ideas. All right, and I have those in there to help me remember. Maybe I'll label it, um, make embellishments and tabs. And I think I'm gonna label this page washi tape ideas too. All right, so this is really getting, you know, into the weeds of having a, a layout that really gives you all of these ideas. So to make an embellished paper clip, let me show you that one. This is where you're just gonna kind of use your washi tape, um, kind of like ribbon. And we'll use this one and let me find, I had my little container paper clips. You can do big paper clips. You can use kind of a normal size paper clip like this one, a little one. If you are using wider washi tape, a larger paper clip will be easier. And if you've got washi tape that's like super thick and not as easy to turn, that's this is going to be a little more difficult. Okay. And I've seen lots of people do this idea. This is not mine. Um, but all these little extras can really take your paper craft to the next level. So just wrap it around like it's a piece of ribbon and then stick it together. Mine's not cooperating. I like mine to be nice and even. So that's why I'm fiddling with it. But there we go. And then... You know, you can just cut it off at an angle. You can, I think I had one here. I pulled out of a journal. You can do like a little banner type end. But then what you have, we'll put it on this page, is this cute 
little and it can even like clip on to something like this, right? Little, little tab, little, um, almost like a faux ribbon, but in your different, um, I'm gonna put it right here, in your different um, washi tape patterns. So, so cute, so cute. Okay, um, and since I left them kind of long, I didn't want it sticking out of the top right now. So that's why I moved it. Um, oh, we did the faux, okay. I think this is probably one of my favorite things to do with washi tape is when um, maybe you have a page you want to highlight or the edge you're concerned about because you're, you're flipping the page a lot. I'm going to bring it over here and put it, I don't want to put on this page because, well, I think it's okay to cover up just a little bit of my writing. I'll still be able to, re to, re to see it. So let's pick a completely different one we haven't used. Um, I wouldn't use super skinny for this because we're gonna wrap it just around the edge of the paper. So I'm gonna do approximately half, but I'm just eyeballing it. I am gonna try to get it straight. I'll still be able to read that. Oh, forgot I put a tab on this page. All right, we'll just stop right here. But I would normally do the whole edge and then make sure you only have one page <laughs> and flip it over and press it down. Now, again, washi tape is removable, or at least it is for a while. Sometimes I find mine really sticks down, doesn't wanna come up. Um, but look at that. So now we have this edge reinforced. If we're gonna be turning it a lot, it feels nice. And you can kind of see it you know, a little bit in your journal. If you kind of know you're going to want to come back to this page, to these ideas, it, it gives you a hint of that as well. So that's one. The other I like to do is sometimes I like to just reinforce the corners. So again, just like we did on the faux photo corners, we're going to wrap it right around. Of course, I've got a little hinge here, but that's okay. I think it'll still open up. It will. All right. And then you have a nice little corner there that just kind of makes your page pop. But especially if you're worried about the corner spraying or you've got some paper that's fragile and you want to reinforce, you can do that. So um, highlight edges and corners. Reinforce the page straight seam. Make hinges for flips. Your topper labels. Oh, let me show you something too that's just cute because I love making little banners. So again, get yourself, um, we'll do it with some book page. Um, get yourself just a piece of rec rec a rectangle about the size um, that you want your embellishment to be. I'm gonna do this one one and three quarter inches wide and we'll make it three inches long. Okay, now you've probably seen this idea too. This one might be a little big for the corner punch that I have. But to help get your banner, I'm eyeballing the corner of my punch to the center. And hopefully it's gonna be, cute. look at that. And if you just trim off the ends real quick, it's a little cattywampus, but you can definitely, hopefully see what, where I'm going with this to easily, make your banner cut with a square punch. I know that's not a new idea, but it was kind of new to me this week. And I was like, where has that idea been all my life? Okay, so then I'm just using book page and how cute will it be to dress this up with some washi tape? So it could be as simple as a strip across the top and now I could take one of my paper clips and I could clip that little banner on and I could have again some journaling or some writing a quote something like that you can use any kind of paper that you want you could really decide you want to decorate it up and put multiple strips of washi tape on there and make it look really cute. So 
again, just a little piece of embellishment, but it will take it up to the next level. Okay. And I'm leaving a little bit of gap in between. You could, you don't have to, you know, but I really like these and I like them. Um, if you don't want to clip them onto the page, you can glue it down, right? So this is, this kind of goes with page topper and tabs. I'm going to say um, mini banners. And I'm going to write on here, banner. And you could do a set of these to go along top of the page. You can do them different sizes. So cute. So cute. I'm going to just glue this one down so that I have it in my idea book. Now, I talked about a simple hinge, but don't forget you could also use that hinge idea to add a page. So I'm gonna put another piece of washi tape down. Let's use these mushrooms. And again, I'm gonna stay with my little design that I'm making on my page. Angle it. And then we're gonna say, add a page. And part of the reason I do like using washi tape to add pages and flips is there's no bulk. It, it's just so easy. So we'll do our add a page here. And let's use this piece of paper for the add a page. So, You've got some options you can come depending on the size of your paper you really can wrap it right around the edge of the paper and then reinforce the other side I could add the tape right here and just make it a hinge but let, let's wrap it all the way around so almost I've almost used this roll okay so get your page where you want it and this is gonna be sort of like reinforcing the page edge, but we are going to stick it down and wrap it around. And this is where you do wanna make sure you only have one page. And I'm struggling. Okay, so I hope you guys can see. We're going to line it up with the page of the journal. And if you're worried about your washi tape, letting go, add a little adhesive, because this hinge will get, you know, a lot of use. I'm using my fingernail and really burnishing it down. And then when I'm adding a page, I'm gonna add washi tape to this side of the hinge as well. And we can be fun and use a different washi tape if we want to but you don't have to. Personal preference. Add a page. All right. So now, again, it's like flips that I've shown you guys before, but using the washi tape. And now you have a page that flips out. Now, if you don't want the page to flip out and you just want you need just let's just say you're you're journaling away like maybe you're doing some writing or you've gotten some photos from a special time in your life and you you, you want some extra pages but you don't want to go deeper into your journal you know put the hinge here and just make it like a whole extra page so let me get a piece of paper I think you guys can follow what I'm saying but just in case we could also add it here on the inside. It's a rough piece of paper. I'm gonna do it here. And again, it won't be flipping out of the book. It'll just be right here inside. Mushrooms without adding a lot of bulk. Now you don't wanna bring your tape all the way down or it won't. It won't open and fold right. <laughs> so keep it um, within the height of the page you're, you're adding in. 
Okay. Don't know where I laid my bone folder, but I would really burnish that in well. And now I have an extra page this way too. So I've added a page like this, and I've also added a flip out page. All right. So let's review and let me look at the little ideas I had jotted down. Um, oh, okay, so just like, again, let's say you're, you're journaling and you just wanna block a page a little bit for um, design purposes or to um, give it some interest or have a journaling spot blocked off. I like to take a washi tape um, let's just do a strip of this and I try to save these little pieces and then because this has the liner, they flip around a lot. Okay. I'm going to just lay it down and you can start making borders our block off sections of a particular page to journal in. And then we could take a strip that is skinny. And again, the design options here, it's just whatever your imagination comes up with. Um, if I know I want to have journaling space here, like maybe I'm gonna write here and then have some image or decoration or a quote or something like that, we suddenly have the page blocked off. Um, and I might have, I could have put a strip here, a strip here. We could come in with a strip of pattern paper and really had this page decorated up nicely because I'm being so random about my choices um, of washi tape. It doesn't quite look like that, but I hope you get the idea. And a lot of times when I'm not planning videos or you know, I'm, I'm doing my own journaling and creative process. This is what I do. I just start grabbing things that speak to me or that I like. And then I have um, a very eclectic journal, which I love to flip back through later. So um, I'm just going to put block pages for design, decoration, and journaling. And I'm gonna put washi tape. Ideas. Because this is just for me. And now I have here where I would probably journal and this for inspiration. Um, and I do love that I can use a permanent marker and decorate my washi tape or write on it. All right, so that flips, flips. I think we did good. I'm gonna stop there. We've been going, I don't know, 40, 45 minutes. So I hope this gave you some ideas. So many of the junk journal ideas that I've been showing you. Um, again, you, you could use washi tape maybe instead of your adhesive, like right here for this um, flip out. You know, we could have used some washi tape or just to add a little bit more of a design element, right? Um, so don't be afraid to whip it out, use it, especially if you like some of the eclectic looks um, of having lots of different patterns on your paper. Um, I may later find one of my journals where I've done kind of a list like this or done quotes and then highlighted them with little strips of washi because it really can be a beautiful accent, especially if you're a little more selective about the washi tapes that you choose that coordinate. All right. Hope you like this. Um, give me a thumbs up. Hit subscribe. I know this one's a little bit different than my normal project ideas, but I hope you guys liked it and it got the juices flowing. Okay. You guys are awesome. Have a great day.